Have you guys ever seen a monkey in the furry community? <laughs> I think it's a little close to home for them. Why don't you take your opposable thumbs and hitch a ride out of here? Nobody wants to be who they are anymore. Everybody's a furry or the role playing. Role playing, you're either like definitely having sex or not having sex at all. Gen Z more accepting of the nerdy stuff. I'm a millennial, old as fuck, and <laughs> I'm old. But uh, I like I like D and D, the Dungeons and Dragons, the sexless role play, and. <laughs> I think I could help like make gen make it more relatable to Gen Z with some custom character classes like wizard, fighter, thief. I got a few right here. Uh, first one, first idea, bard, dropout. <laughs> Everybody can relate to gender druid. And active shooter. I think you guys <laughs> know a thing or two about that. Gen Z, a lot of autistic people, right? A lot of autistic, okay, I see, you can, they'll tell you if they're autistic, but if, you, if you're curious, you can find out if they're an autistic teenager, but like teenagers play truth or dare, autistic teenagers play fact. They, th they, think, they think that's fun for you. Um, but yeah, I'll, a lot of nerdy stuff. Uh, you guys like uh, the Smurfs? You ever, you remember the Smurfs? Doesn't Smurfette literally sound like she's the only female in town? She's got like this raspy voice like, I'm Smurfette and I serve all the Smurf men in Smurf Village. I Smurf them good. I have a sole maternal obligation to perpetuate this species, thank you. She's got it rough. Maternal obligation is tough. Maternal sexuality is even worse. <laughs> I went home one time and uh, I walked in the door of my parents' house. Just my mom was there, because my dad's dead. And, uh, and I, but I walk in, nobody's in there, and just on the counter is a vibrator. And I'm just there with the vibrator for a little bit, and then all of a sudden my mother runs out and grabs it and takes it back to her room like a rabbit, like grabbing its young back to the hole. <laughs> she finally comes back out again, and we're talking. We haven't been getting along at that point. And I'm like, you know, Ma, it's real nice that I come home and I see your vibrator sitting on the counter. She goes, that was just a gag gift from the neighbors. I said, I don't want to know how you use it. <laughs> Thank you all very much. That was my first time and yours too. Ooh, let's hear it for Jake! All right. Perfect. You know what, one more, one more time for Jake. Come on, give it up. He's the only stand-up of the night we got. Thank you. All right.